stop listening. Tape is rolling. Stand by. I'm going to have the most powerful thing that I can get on top of the show. Five seconds. Four. Five, three, two. Our next guest is a little different. Does she need a quick fix? No. But could use a little help in one department. April Ann is a seven-time cancer survivor who's battled a year's worth of radiation after getting diagnosed with a brain tumor. Now, she was extremely frustrated that her hair never grew back after that treatment. Take a look at this. My name is April Ann Barbarino, 32 years old, seven-time survivor of cancer. What happened was, I was getting a little bit dizzy. I started to get this very bad pain in the head. I fainted on the floor. Pain in the head was so severe that I just wanted someone to just kill me. It was a tumor. Doctors did tell my mother that I had uh, six to nine months to live. The only thing that I was worried about is, oh my God, what are they gonna do my hair? Because like my hair was everything to me. I was like a real life Bobby doll. I'm not a short hair person. I'm not, it's, it's not me to, to, to look like that. My parents would spend hundreds, thousands of dollars on, on wigs. It didn't satisfy me. After 20 years of, of doing the wigs and the hair units and the headaches that get caused or whatever, I'm very excited because I think for the first time this could be something that's permanent. You don't have to take it off. This is going to be something spectacular. Please welcome April Ann to the show. You know, you, you sat it on that tape, and you say it so quickly that honestly, I don't think people really caught it. You are a seven-time cancer survivor, uh, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Um, how many operations have you been through? Pardon me? How many operations have you been through? Um, actually, seven. Seven different operations. But, but only the first one required chemo and radiation therapy after. And you had that therapy for a full year, chemo for a full oh, year. Oh, yes, full year. And that's really why your hair now The, the impact back. of the radiation and combination of chemotherapy really killed the growth cells. Usually when people have chemotherapy, their hair grows back curlier, thicker. In my case, it didn't happen that way. It's sickening to me that people, even now, would look at a person like yourself. I, I'm not, I wouldn't look at you and automatically think you had cancer. I might think, hey. I'm just glad gotta, you said that. Uh, no, honestly, I look at you and I think, trippy style, but okay, I got it. Back, <laughs> back in the 80s, if, if you, when I was sick, it was in the 80s, and that was the era where they had the teased hair out to here, okay? Today, it really isn't a big difference because nothing shocks anyone today. You know, it's so diverse that you blend right in with the crowd. But yesteryear, in the 80s, you stood out. And people used to say something, so, well, you know what, we want to make it. cruel. How about if we make it so you don't have to stand out anymore? Please welcome, join us, Lance Satrafanti and Chris Lus Lacursi. So, <laughs> them from Natural Image Salon, who have a solution to your problem. Lance, what's the solution? Well, the solution for April Ann and, uh, is going to be a glamorous, fashionable look and not a wig. Our process is a dermal lens application where we do hair for her that will match her growing hair in all the important qualities like texture and density and she can do different lengths and she can pull it up or she could wear it down or change it daily if she, she wants to. She can jump in a pool and climb out and it's still there. Tremendously secure in all social activities and all sporting activities, yes. So the two of you are going to go back and do this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take April Ann back there. And what's great about the Virtuous line is that there's no restriction. We could do whatever we want. It's whatever fits April Ann. If she wants that updo look, if she wants to perm it, we could, you know, uh, st um, uh, highlight it. We could do whatever we want with her. So whatever she wants and whatever fits her, my stylist and I are going to go with it. Lunch time, there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> back right after this. We come back, you'll see some of our quick fix procedures and see what they look like after they've been under the gun. We'll be back right after this. So let's see. We're going to check in and see if the smile is now bright. We'll see that by the end of the show. It looks great. It's looking good. Looking good. Okay, now earlier in the show, we met April Ann, a seven-time cancer survivor who lost all of her hair after radiation treatment. Now, Judy, we know she's been backstage and they've been working hard at giving her a new look. Are you ready to I'm see ready. your daughter? I'm ready. Oh my goodness. Ready? Are you guys ready to see her? Yeah. You know what April Ann looked like before. Please welcome the new April Ann to the show. <laughs> what do you think? Oh my God. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around. Beautiful. <laughs> right, show it off. What do you think? 
think? Oh my gosh, I, I'm ecstatic, I really am. I, this is so new to me. And I'm afforded so many opportunities. I could have a different style every month. I could, and that just blends with my personality because I am creative and I like to be different and, and you know, just have different personalities. There, there you go. Positive <laughs> You guys got the work cut out for you. Chris, what did you know? Can she take it down? Or she have... can take it down if she wants to. She can put it up. What we did is we just did an updo the show that you can do versatility with Virtuous. But what's so? Can you you want to take this out for a second? Come, sure. come closer. I want to see how long it is with it, with it down. You want me to take it down? Yeah. Can you take it down? Can, sure. can we do that for a second? <laughs> yeah. I don't I'm gonna mess with your hand. <laughs> it's yours now. It's the Wizard of Oz. You can do whatever he wants. But you can now. She can now style it any way you want. Any way she wants to. And and what she can do too. See, we put highlights in to obviously make it softer on the top. Now we can color it again if you we want to. You can't even look at. I didn't see there's a wig there. Well, that's the difference. We're not, that, see, that's the difference. We're not a wig. It's not a wig. It is what, what it is. It's a dermal and application, like Lance said. And you could do a lot more with it. And that's why when we do women or men, it, it makes it easier to any style that they're looking for. It's unbelievable. It looks really